If the galaxy is full of stars, why is it so quiet? Where is everybody? That is the Fermi paradox. Stick with me and you'll leave with three clean explanations and which one the data favors. There are hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy. Many are older than the sun. Many could host Earth-like worlds. Here is the math feeling. Even if a spacefaring civilization traveled at just 1% of light speed and hopped from star to star, it could spread across the Milky Way in about 10 million years. The galaxy is more than 10 billion years old. There has been time, so shouldn't we see something? Loud radio beacons, big energy projects like Dyson spheres that glow in infrared. Instead, we hear silence. That is the paradox. One answer is the great filter. Somewhere on the path from simple chemistry to galaxy-wide life, there is a step that is very hard to pass. The filter could be behind us. Maybe life is rare. Maybe complex cells were a one in a trillion accident. If so, we got lucky, or it could be ahead of us. Civilizations might invent powerful tools and then fail to manage them. They might use up key resources. They might choose quiet for safety. This is a hypothesis, not proof. There are also boring reasons for the quiet. Our radio window is short. We stop blasting easy signals after about a century. Space is huge. Signals fade with distance. Aliens might use tech we are not listening for. Why this matters? If the filter is ahead, our choices now are the test. Long time horizons, good risk management, becoming multi-planet helps. If the filter is behind us, then finding simple life elsewhere still teaches us which steps are common. Recap, the paradox is a mirror. Are we early or do we stop ourselves? The only way to know is to look. Comment your theory and let us have a friendly discussion. Save this to share the paradox with a friend.